Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stauffer, and I'm I uh, just finished shopping, I, uh, grocery shopping. Today was uh, the today is the the kids' first day of back at school, and they I dropped them off this morning, and then I went shopping for groceries. Now, oh, I have to see if I can get them into the house. <laughs> All right, this is for, for Monday evening dinner. Today is Monday, I, today I did the shopping. I have shake and bake, extra crispy, and I have chicken legs that I'm gonna shake and bake in the oven. And then I, I'm going to make those red potatoes into mashed potatoes with a head of cauliflower mashed in together. So I cook it together and mash it together. And I have some broccoli there to steam. We're going to have steamed broccoli twice. So one time will be today and I'll have some extra for another day this week. Now, here are school lunch items. I have, these are things the kids requested for their lunches. Gushers, um, cheese pizza Lunchables. That was the only Lunchable they had that was meat free or halal for us. And then I got some halal bologna, beef bologna for sandwiches. The kids asked for our sandwich stuff. And I have some Morning Star Farms buffalo chick patties, vegetarian or vegan. So my one boy likes to take those in a sandwich to school. And I got them skinny pop popcorns for their lunches. I got some petite baby carrots and I got some buns for their sandwiches and I got honey crisp apples for their lunch boxes too. So I also got some sliced cheese. Here's the sliced cheese. I got Kobe Jack Sargento and it's a large pack. Um, 24 slices and they were on sale. If you buy three, you get them for $4.99 a pack. That's good for a name brand cheese. So that is the lunch packing food for the week. Now here is the Taco Tuesday ingredients for this week. I told the kids I would make them copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizza. So I'm gonna make them large with large burritos. And then they have uh, all the Typical Tex-Mex ingredients, refried beans, burger meat, fiesta style corn, sour cream, cucumbers, uh, sliced black olives, organic romaine hearts that I'm gonna chop up, and avocados for guacamole. So, uh, and green onions, did I already mention those? So those are some of, most of the ingredients I'm gonna need for that. I might still add some like hot sauce or something, or anything that the kids want. Now I have Wednesday night dinner, which is also sliced cheese, burgers, two packs of meat for burgers and country style potato buns and some Arby style seasoned curly fries. They wanted the rally style, rally and checker style fries, but I couldn't find those at Kroger. So I went with these for today, for this time, for this week. Um, when I go to Walmart, I'll pick up those others, perhaps for next week. And since, uh, the vegetable to go with Wednesday night burgers is lettuce and uh, any vegetable they want to put on their burgers. And this will be for Thursday, baby carrots and ranch dip, ranch dressing for any kid who likes that. And then I don't have, I didn't buy anything for that night because I have the ingredients already. So I didn't buy anything else. Uh, that night, I'm probably planning to make rice with shrimp in it and vegetables in it. So um, that will be the main dish for that night. 
on Thursday. Now here are a few things that we just need um, to have on hand. Um, a giant bottle of canola oil, it was $10. I go through so much oil, I decided I'm gonna buy the big jug. Um, and I switched to canola now instead of corn because it's cheaper. And I have a, a bag of Vidalia onions down there. And I have some sweet potatoes, two big sweet potatoes. I want to make myself a sweet potato and black bean dish one night because I like that. And then I got some plantains. They're huge and they were like, I think 58 cents each and they're really big, heavy, heavy, heavy. I wanna do something with those because I like plantains now and then. My husband asked me for Takis, so I got him a small bag. I don't want him to have a party size bag. <laughs> he would if I'd let him. And I got some uh, cream cheese to have on hand in case somebody doesn't like my breakfast that I made, they all have you know, cream cheese on some on toast or something. Uh, and I got some whipped chocolate frosting because I have a cake mix and no frosting and Zakia likes to make um, cake and put frosting on it. Um, she's just nine years old, so I let her use the pre-made stuff. And I got um, tahini because Hassan loves tahini on, on everything. He loves tahini on so many things. Uh, he sprinkles it on popcorn, he sprinkles it, oh my gosh, he tries it on everything. Like, I can't even think of what he uses it on, but I've seen him use it on so many different things. Now, I got myself a bottle of distilled water for my BiPAP machine. And I got breakfast items, which for us garbanzo beans, I make a pot of these, put two bags per pot, that's, so that's two mornings breakfast. And then whatever's left up, uh, left over, I will use to make hummus. I make pretty good uh, homemade hummus. And um, so I want to, to have that. And then somebody will eat hummus for breakfast or dinner if they don't like whatever else I made. <laughs> there are only two people in the house that eat hummus. That's my husband and Zakia. And, and me, that's three people. The boys don't eat it. They hate it. But they do love... Uh, like boiled, a bowl of boiled garbanzo beans, chickpeas. They love it. So that's a good nutritional breakfast on a school morning. And then I have um, breakfast things over here. I have bacon, which is $13 a pack. I only buy about one pack a month because it's $13 for one pack. And kids ask for bacon. <laughs> And I tell them, when you get two pieces of bacon, you're getting a rich people breakfast because that is $13 a pack. So um, I guess they understand. <laughs> and um, we got cocoa roos. These were on, on sale for $2.49 a bag. They're 17, they're 17.7 ounces a bag. So that's about a family, family size box of cereal, I guess. For two forty nine, there's the cocoa leaves and and the cinnamon posters. So they were on sale, and then milk. I got lactose free whole milk, uh, organic lactose free whole milk. The only place I have been able to find lactose free milk that was organic was um, at uh, up at Kroger. I haven't found it anywhere else, and I got some regular milk for the other kids. And I got uh, um, this bread. It was two for five. This is a uh, private selection. It's a Kroger brand of whole grain bread. And I like that. And then the kids all love to have macaroni and hot dogs. So that will be um, Saturday lunch, I think, will be hot dogs and macaronis because they, they need that once a month or once a week or something like that. Friday, uh, I'm probably going to make chicken tenders and then I will also make uh, give the kids watermelon and maybe some steamed broccoli that day. I think that's the other day when I'm gonna use the other half of the steamed broccoli to steam. It's on, on uh, Saturday, Friday, Friday. Yes, and then when I make this, I'll put some kind of vegetables on the side 
or apples or fruit, anything I have in the house, whatever I have.